Hashtag Ask Goji Man. Nutritionally, what do you think is the main problem with the carnivore diet? Great question. Let's get to it. Roll the titles. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. Right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow them stuff for you. Welcome back, it's good to see you all again. If you haven't met before then, hi, I'm Goji Man. I'm currently finishing a master's in nutrition and qualifying as a nutritionist. And later this year, I'm gonna be doing a PhD in nutritional science. I make vegan health and nutrition videos every single day unless I'm snowed with assignments in which I answer your health questions under the hashtag Ask Goji Man. So if you have a question for me, then hashtag Ask Goji Man in the comments below. Alternatively, send your video questions through to contact at gojimannutrition.com. So as always, just a quick reminder that I now offer the organic acids test, stool test and SIBO test via my website. So if you have any digestive problems or wider health issues, then consider taking these tests as they will provide a lot of very detailed information upon which you can start making informed decisions. And on that bombshell, to the video. So we all know that the liver is pivotal for optimal health. It cleans toxins from the body and it does this using various enzymatic processes involved in what's called a stage one and stage two liver detoxification. Now there are technically three liver detoxification pathways in the body, but for the purposes of this video, I will concentrate on stage one and stage two, as stage three is purely just the final stage of elimination of toxins out of the body via the skin, urine, and also your stool. So phase one is the start of the enzymatic process for the elimination of unwanted toxins from the body. This could be medications, pesticides, or even normal gut chemicals such as histamine that if allowed to build up can become toxic. Now a large proportion of chemicals are converted into what's called intermediate forms during stage one detoxification. This simply means that the liver is making ready these chemicals and toxins so that they can be passed on to the phase two enzymes. By converting the toxins into intermediate forms, the toxins actually become more toxic and chemically active. Therefore, if the stage two pathways are not working adequately, the more active intermediate toxins have the potential to become extremely carcinogenic in the body. And there is a medical term for this detoxification inadequacy, which is known as pathological detoxifiers. And in simple terms, this means you are very active around phase one detoxification, but not around phase two. Now, as you can see from this diagram, most of the enzymes used in the detoxification of toxins in phase one detox fall under the umbrella of what's known as cytochrome P450 enzymes. Now, for some of you who have watched my channel for a while, you will probably recognize the term cytochrome P450 enzyme. So when I had a massive reaction to an antibiotic five and a half years ago, it was purely down to the fact that I'm missing a specific P450 enzyme that breaks down certain medications. So when you don't have that enzyme, the medication builds up in your body and becomes toxic, causing severe side effects. So there are 50 to 100 enzymes that make up your cytochrome P450 detoxification system. And your effectiveness to detox is based on whether you have any genetic abnormalities like me, how many toxins your body is being exposed to on a daily basis, and also the nutrients that you are consuming on a daily basis. And it's these type of pathways that explain why some people can smoke for decades with no problem, and others develop lung cancer. Now, if you are someone who has slow phase one liver speed, then some of the most common identifiable problems are things like caffeine intolerance, certain food intolerances, and also chemical sensitivities. Now, as you can see from the diagram on the screen, the most important nutrients used during phase one detoxification are B2, B3, B6, folic acid, B12, glutathione, branded chain amino acids, flavonoids, and also phospholipids. Now the carnivore dieters are okay on most of these, but of particular concern is folic acid and also the flavonoids. So the general RDA for folate is approximately 400 micrograms per day. As you can see from the table on the screen now, a three ounce beef liver is 215 microgram, which is 54% of your daily RDA. A whole hard boiled egg is 22 micrograms, which is just 6% of your RDA or three ounce chicken breasts, which have three micrograms of folate, which is just 1% of your daily folate requirements. So in reality, to hit your RDA for folate, you would need to be eating six ounces of beef liver a day, or 18 eggs per day, or 44 ounces of chicken breast per day. Now, I can't say I'm overly familiar with the carnivore eating patterns, but I'm pretty confident that most carnivore dieters will not be getting sufficient folate in their diet. And just bear in mind that these are just the RDAs and probably not sufficient for optimal folate levels in the body. 
Now folate is not only pivotal for phase one detoxification, but it's also pivotal for preventing anemia, being involved in methylation in the body, as well as regulating homocysteine and other inflammatory compounds in the body. Now, one of the most significant side effects of impaired phase one liver detoxification is the production of free radicals. And generally speaking, for every toxin molecule that is metabolized in the liver, one molecule of free radical is produced, especially when the liver is not receiving adequate nutrition. Now, the main antioxidant in the body for removing free radicals is glutathione, and it's heavily needed during phase two detoxification that I will discuss shortly. And just a quick reminder, glutathione is your body's master antioxidant. The issue with undernutrition in the liver with nutrients such as folate though, is that as your body produces more free radicals, glutathione is oxidized to glutathione disulfide during phase one detoxification, which then depletes the body's reserves needed for phase two. And this whole process is further compounded by the fact that when you're eating a carnivore diet, you are getting next to no antioxidants in the diet to help pick up the slack of the glutathione depletion. And again, this whole issue is further compounded in phase two detoxification during conjugation. Conjugation simply means enzymes attaching to the chemicals passed over from phase one detoxification. And conjugation either neutralizes the toxin or makes it easily excretable through your urine or bile. And in terms of phase two detoxification, there are six pathways. So glutathione conjugation, amino acid conjugation, methylation, sulfation, acetylation, and also glucuronidation. So quite simply put, you need folate and other compounds from brassica vegetables, etc., in your diet, or you run the risk of problems with detoxification, methylation, mitochondrial type issues, and many other essential areas in the body. Now, there are lots of tests that can show whether you have issues with phase one and phase two detoxification, and one of the best is the organic acids test. So as part of the test that looks at over 72 different metabolites in the body, from everything from the mitochondrial and neurotransmitter markers, the test also looks at metabolites such as sulfate and 2-methylhippurate that shows what pathways in the liver aren't working sufficiently. Now you'll probably get carnivore dieters saying, well, my liver enzymes are fine, and this means little. Liver enzymes such as ALT, will only tell you when the problem has arrived and not when you have a growing problem. So carnivore dieters, please, please, please get folate into your diet and don't risk your own health. Anyway, that's the end of today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. As always, if you have a question for me, then hashtag AskOGMan in the comments below. Or alternatively, you can send your video questions through to contact at gojimannutrition.com. And remember to look after your body because it's the only place you have to live. And I'll see you next time.